we're tasting all of the Jennies, um, or at least all that we could find. Yeah. So first, I want to organize these as if this was a wine tasting from lightest to darkest, and then we'll taste from there. Okay, begin. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got Boston Pie. I'm going to put that there. This is slowly going to disappear before your eyes. Okay. And green chip, lemon, and butter cake I'm putting at the top because that's kind of vanilla-y. Okay. So you're basically doing vanilla to chocolate. chocolate. I am doing vanilla to chocolate with fruity in between. I was going to say, where does fruit live? Um, and then caramel. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to go two rows. I'm so sorry. This is just... Do you think of caramel as more chocolate or no. more vanilla? I think of it as more vanilla. I would go, I'm going to go gooey butter cake into birthday into Boston cream. You no, think Boston into, no, I'm going cream? caramel then into Boston cream. Uh, it's salted vanilla custard layered with yellow cake pieces and then some fudge. Okay. So it's not really okay. Darkest truff truffle is at the end. Okay. Blackout chocolate cake is at the end right before then. We're going to go there. We're going to go cold brew with coconut cream. Sheet cake, Texas sheet cake, dairy free. That's it's chocolate. gonna go. That's it's chocolate. chocolate? That's oh, chocolate. Okay. Texas Thank sheet cake God, is chocolate. You told me. Okay. Um, <laughs> Did I say it wrong? A, no, you just said it a lot of times. <laughs> Texas sheet cake. <laughs> Cinnamon. I thought I called it chocolate. <laughs> okay. And We're then gonna brown put butter that there. Brown butter. butter. Okay. Let me show you guys. This is kind of what we're working with. Okay. General. We're gonna go. Okay. 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 So we're starting with gooey butter cake. Okay. People love this one. I feel like this is one of the first Jenny's flavors I ever heard about or tried. Cream cheese ice cream layered with crumbles of vanilla cake and a swirl of caramel butterscotch sauce. That's a lot. Aren't they from St. Louis, which is where gooey butter cake is I from? I know that. Can I get a fact check on that, Gwynnon? Do you know what a gooey butter cake is? Yeah, it's a type of cake that originated in St. Louis, to my understanding. Thanks. And it's like... <laughs> you just... I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> um, we're fighting. It is like a really moist... Ohio. Cake. Close enough. Like vanilla-y type cake that has almost like a little bit of a caramely thing to it. Okay. In my experience, I'm not from there, so I'm not like an expert. I've just had it before. This is good. I'd say it's very, it does honestly taste like cake batter. It tastes like what I described. Yeah. It's like caramelly, cake battery. Yeah. Okay. It's very sweet. I really like, yes. It does end on a little bit of that burnt kind of sugar note. Though, yeah. But I do like that. It adds like I some, do too. No mix-ins. I know that's a problem for you. I don't like that. More cake. Buttercream birthday cake. So birthday Sprinkles. cake is a cake you birthday eat on cake. your birthday? In Ohio. <laughs> uh... As far as I know, it only means sprinkles. That's it. No, there's cake oh, in it. There's cake in it. <laughs> I mean... It tastes like Funfetti. It's better than Funfetti. It's so much better than Funfetti. Justine, wake up. Funfetti is good. Look how chunky. Look how... Look at that big piece of cake in there. I do like that the cake is not, like, mm. too soggy. It's like cake dough. It's like if cake was cookie dough. Mm. Once again, it's, it's not too frozen. No, but it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Which I don't have a problem with, okay. but it's not for everybody. Okay. Um, salty caramel. We could only find it in a <laughs> tiny size. I didn't suddenly get huge. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's really, really, really salty. Oh, I'm the tiny spoon. It tastes like if you just ate the top off of creme brulee. It tastes like burnt sugar yeah. in a way that is both good and bad. I just couldn't eat that much of it. It's very, yeah. um, it has kind of like a burny kind of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Not that burny. Um, I've never tasted anything like that in ice cream form. It really tastes burnt. Yeah. I mean, compared to the others, it's not sweet at all. No. Um, okay. I kind of want to order as we go too. Okay. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna work with like that. We're gonna put the buttercream, or the birthday cake first. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Boston cream pie. We've got salted vanilla custard layered with yellow bleh, yellow cake pieces and darkest chocolate fudge. I don't really care about Boston cream anything, so I'm a little hesitant. Oh, I almost blew on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this dairy free? It's not, but I understand why you would think that. It does have that kind of it has like an icy, icy texture that tastes dairy-free. It just doesn't feel very cohesive to me. 
it tastes stupid. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, why would you buy that? I just don't know what I'm eating, really. It's, it's just, not it's like, bad. It's just kind of nothing. It's kind of like, I don't know. That's yeah. the worst one so far. It's really forgettable. It's very forgettable. It's like kind of decent vanilla, and that's about it. But the texture is not as good as the vanilla in the other ones. No. And the chunks are not very good either. Okay. Brown butter and almond brittle. Pretty self-explanatory. What's the ice cream flavor though? Brown butter. Okay. No, buttercream. Buttercream? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like frosting. Mmm. It tastes like frosting and um like almond extract a little bit. I wish the brittle was more brittle. It's just kind of like thrown in nuts. Just like small thrown in nuts. Yeah. It's not giving brittle whatsoever. But the, the, that's okay. Um, I don't think it's better than gooey butter cake, though. Do you? I think it's worse than this one, too. You think it's worse? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best to worst. Yeah, I think it's worse than this. Oh, okay. Personally. Okay, I think it's okay. worse than the salty caramel. Okay. Um, skillet cinnamon roll. I like the idea. It's very cute. Oh, Gwyneth, <laughs> she's excited. Do you want to come taste it? Okay. Okay. Well, I see. It. Let me read. Uh, dark caramel, cream cheese, pastry, and cinnamon. Lots of it. Okay. It To me, it tastes like there are pieces of cinnamon roll in it. Not in a good way. Cinnamon it, roll derogatory. It tastes like... Um, like a mall smells. Like, it tastes like... <laughs> the cinnamon rolls smell at but, a food court, but it doesn't taste it doesn't like taste they like taste. Them. Yes, 100%. It's like I, fake cinnamon? Yeah, I don't know why you would buy I don't think, I think the cinnamon roll. I think when you put a lot of cinnamon into something, it ends up <sighs> tasting like a uh, craft store. Yeah, I hate when I say something wrong. I just think the cinnamon roll dough is not good like the cake dough. No, I agree. Um, I'm gonna put that after the uh, yeah. Boston cream. Yeah, I think the cinnamon really just kind of takes it out. Yeah, I think it's bad. Okay, we've got, what's up? Uh, salted peanut butter with chocolate flakes. This sounds like it's made for me. Um, salted and roasted ground peanuts with grass grass grazed milk and crunchy dark chocolate flakes. Mm. I've never wanted dark chocolate flakes. Sorry. Flex. And I point that out, not to say that you're wrong, but just because I don't want flex ever. Chocolate flex, come on, grow up. Bella Flex, yes. Chocolate Flex. Sure. No. I like that. I like peanut butter ice cream. I just don't think people make enough peanut butter based ice cream. It's good, it's nice. The peanut butter flavor is mm. really nice. So I wish creamy. It, I wish it was a smidge saltier. And I wish there was like a ribbon of fudge in it. But I that's me. I do think if they were like more of like the chocolate planks, those would be better. Chocolate planks mm. is exactly what I'm Bella talking about. Bella Planks. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put this yeah. after gooey butter cake. So right now we have birthday cake, gooey butter cake, salted peanut butter, salted caramel, brown butter, almond brittle, Boston cream, and then skillet cinnamon roll. Okay, we're gonna move into green mint chip. Thoughts on mint chip? You know, I never, ever, ever would purchase it for some reason, but I always like it when I have it, if it's good. They say there's crunchy bittersweet chocolate in here. I don't see a lot of it. It's crunchy. Is it? I got a crunch. I there got you go. almost there you go. I see one right now. Oh, not enough. I don't think this is sweet enough. This is kind of comes you. off a little bland. It's like refreshing, but that's really not Sorry. ever why I'm eating ice cream. Not enough mix in It's just not bad. creamy. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. After the butter, brown butter, almond, brittle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we've got the... <laughs> Full disclosure, we've tried this one before, as you can see, for our coffee ice we cream taste it. test. And uh, it's good. Cold brew with coconut cream. Let's see if it's still good. Oop. I don't even like coffee. Mm -hmm. I don't drink coffee. The coffee part is like granita, and then the coconut cream part is creamy. This one's dairy-free, too. Incredible for a dairy-free product. It tastes so good, mm -hmm. and I love the, like, granita with... The... It reminds me if you've ever had, like... Hawaiian shave ice or anything like that, where they'll sometimes do ice cream with shave ice or snowball. Ooh, I love it. I love that. It's so different and it's fun. It's so good. And if you're buying Jenny's, like, you shouldn't buy the green tea, mint tea. Either. Like, everybody makes that. Nobody makes this. Yeah. Um, boy, oh boy. 
I'm looking at the top. I mean, that could be number one for me right now. Really? And I don't even I like birthday coffee. cakes better. Okay, so then number two. Okay. I don't really have like a big dog in this fight because I don't like coffee, but. Okay, we're gonna move into the fruit fruit zone. Um, sweet cream, biscuits, and peach jam. I have been excited about this one. When it is excited about this one. I don't feel excited about it. I think it's gonna be bad. Sad, sad I love for you. Ice cream. You love what? Peach ice cream. Oh, peach ice cream. I don't even think that's a thing. Peach ice cream. You're upset? It's weird and salty. And kind of not creamy. Oh, <laughs> I hate it. I'm so sorry. Ew. That's the first time I've had that's like say, really bad. I hate it necessarily. That's bad. I just, I want more sweetness from it. It tastes like know. artificial peach candy though. Would you ever buy that? No. No. But I, I am still gonna put it ahead of the skillet. <gasps> Lunch is here. There okay. we go. No, well, power through. We gotta power through. Okay, um, lemon and blueberry parfait. Can't wait. Now love. I love blueberry ice cream. I love lemon blueberry anything. It says from <gasps> scratch blueberry jam and buttermilk and cream. It's sexy. Look at that. Sexy. I love that. I love this juicy little swirl. Ooh, and it's so creamy. Mm. Oh, that looks mm. good. Mm. Unreal, oh. unreal, unreal. That lemon is so tart. Mm. Oh, it's so tart and creamy. But it's a creamy, oh. Get in here. Number one, I think. I love that. I'm I so would excited. buy that. It could tell I love that put, so much. When you put the spoon into it, how Come down. creamy it is. We gotta see you. Oh, hi. Everybody wants to see you. Everybody wants to. Wow. It's unbelievable. It's crazy that it's not. It's so it's so creamy, tart. but so tart. Mm -hmm. That it's, it's like, like a gelato. Sor it's like a sorbet, yes. but like but creamy. But and exactly. there's like no mix-ins, pretty much. And I still love it. It's like I guess that's the sour cream too. Mm. Mm. I could eat a whole thing of that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, mm. nice. One. That's so good. Wow, wow, wow. Number one for me. Wowie, wow. Rambleberry crisp. This sounds good. I don't know. I always think crisp is like not like too much fruit, not enough. Crumble? Crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's dying. Um, oh, I like the taste. It's not for me. But the texture is kind of weird. Yeah, it's not for me, but it's, I think someone would like it. It has like little bits of like crumble, like oat in mm -hmm. it, that I wish were in more like clusters. Yes, like a granola chunk almost. But I really like the flavor. I agree um, with you. I think it's like nice and sweet and I don't know. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh my gosh, we're really on the same page. Hi, okay, I don't know how, how this is gonna, we're gonna have to curb or something. I don't know. Yeah, here, I can do this too. Oh, sure. We're gonna remember the order. Yes, you will. Okay, Sorry. we've got Texas sheet cake. We're in chocolate zone. Okay, Welcome I'm, to chocolate zone. Thank you, I'm a chocolate ice cream lover and I've had this in store years ago and it was one of the best ice creams I'd ever had. I'm very curious to see if I still feel the same way. Have you ever had a Texas sheet cake? Yes, and I love it. I make a very good Texas sheet you cake. You make one? Yeah. Wow. It's very chocolatey. I mean, I think that's incredible. I it like the cake like, in it. It's very moist. It tastes like the best fudge sickle you've ever had made into ice cream. Along with like that classic grocery store chocolate cake. And it's dairy free. That's dairy free? Yes. Holy. It's shit. vegan, I think. Oh my God. Yeah. It's like one of the best vegan products that's, I've ever had maybe. That's, it's got coconut cream in it, but you can't taste the coconut at all. No. I am floored. Yeah. It is vegan, right? I know it's dairy free. It says dairy free. I don't know about vegan, but. I can't believe that. Yeah, I That's don't see it. That's insane. I think oh it is. Oh my gosh. Vegan, yeah. Vegan wow. and dairy free. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. If you haven't tried that, that's- Why would you put that? Oh, I didn't even think about it. I um, think it's number two for me. Okay. I think, I think the fact that it's so um, impressive. I, I, like, yeah. I, I think if it wasn't dairy free, I might go lower, but yeah, the fact yeah. that that's dairy free I and it's still that good, it makes it better. Okay. okay. Do we want to try um, another dairy free one? Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll go into chocolate blackout this or darkest. Yeah. Dark chocolate truffle. Okay. This looks boring. Yeah. Does it say it has anything in it? Oh, it's just a really long sentence about chocolate. Okay. No.
again, it's kind of light on the flavor. Yawn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm fine. Where's the other boring ones? Um, I'll put it above there though. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Chocolate blackout cake. Okay. This is a chocolate ice cream quadruple threat with cake, extra bitter fudge, and chocolate pieces. Okay. I think you can go like overboard on chocolate. I think once it's like chocolate, 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 it's like it gets to be it's a real palate killer. It's good. I think it's a it's little good. too much, and I don't think it's better than the chocolate chip no. cake. I think it has a bit too much bitterness to yeah. it. That kind of And we both like better. Out. Yeah. But I don't know how much of that you could eat. No. You could top something that was already really sweet with this. You yeah, and I, mean? I bet it'd be good with whipped cream and like it'd be probably really good in the milkshake. Um let's put it ahead of the of that. Yeah. So then oh, hold on. So then we do this. Yeah. This that yeah. makes more sense. And this is darkest, the darkest chocolate. chocolate. The chocolate is flavor known to man. There's no big sense in this. Mm. Fine. Oh, it's fine. It's chocolate just... is not their strong suit, I don't think. No, I'm just not getting that punch of flavor from it. Yeah. Where does, I mean, all three of the chocolate ones taste exactly They're kind of like, the like same. it's just the same thing. Like, I'm going to put the, obviously, the chocolate cake one, or the chocolate truffle one, like, ahead. Yeah. And the bitter one. Three again. I know. Um, let's go there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We did it. Okay, so I mean, I think these are the two, the two big that you, standouts. Absolutely. I, I mean, I'll put the birthday cake in there. I, I think this is different. The I birthday think, cake is great too. <gasps> is you're this okay. the sheet that's cake? That's the sheet cake one that's shocking. Like, you're dirty, okay. Right? You're okay. Honey. I know I'm okay. <laughs> Well, I just meant like it's not like pooling anymore. <laughs> so this is on dairy, right? This is vegan. Isn't that shocking? That's what I think is so amazing about it is it tastes better because. That's what I mean. Yeah. And it's you don't so taste. Crazy. We have tried so many vegan ice creams. You don't taste a lick of coconut. And that, no, you don't. I do a little bit, but in a good way. And I like wow, it. Wow, I don't get it at all. Mm. I think it's unbelievable. I think this one and then so battery tasting. this one. Battery, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Like a battery? <laughs> I meant like batter, but I said battery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, these two I would rush out to buy immediately. Yeah, 100%. Immediately. Hey, I agree. Thank God you're here, Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs>